Hi guys, this is Mrs. Foy, and this is a screencast about molarity. So molarity is abbreviated as capital M, and it's a double unit, so it's like miles per hour. But this is, um, capital M molarity stands for moles over liters. And this is actually moles of the solute versus liters of the solution, okay? So this is a way of saying, uh, of telling how concentrated something is in a, in a liquid solution, okay? Molarity. So there's three different ways that you can solve these problems depending on what the question asks. So the easiest way is if you have a problem that says what is the molarity of a substance. So let's, I'm just going to use sodium chloride, like a salt solution. What is the molarity of a sodium chloride solution if you have, let's say you have five grams in 500 milliliters of water? What is my molarity? So what my best, best tip that I can give for you is when you are solving these problems, do not just write capital M. Students get really confused what that means. Write the double unit of what it means. Write moles per liter because it says what is the molarity. So if you want a double unit, you start with a double unit. Well, I don't have a double unit, right? But I do have 0.5, I'm sorry, I do have five grams of sodium chloride and I have 500 milliliters of solution. And I wrote it this way because I clearly want volume on the bottom and I want moles on the top, but I can get to moles because I can factor label, right? So now I just need to get the molar mass of sodium chloride. So the molar mass of sodium chloride, well, sodium is 22 point, uh, I'm looking at the periodic table, 99 grams per mole, and chlorine is 35.45, okay, and if I add that up, 22.99 plus 35.45, I get 58.44 grams per mole. This is the molar mass of sodium chloride. So I'm going to put the molar mass on the bottom, and I'm going to put one mole on the top. This is the molar mass of sodium chloride. So look, my grams cancel, and now I'm at moles. And so when I look over here, I see, ooh, I got moles here, and I got moles here. So I'm halfway done with my problem now, all right? So now I just have to get milliliters to liters. Well, that's easy right in black here. That's easy. There are a thousand milliliters in one liter. Now my milliliters cancel and I am done with my problem. All right. So now I'm just going to multiply across the top five times 1000 and divide that by 500 and divide that by 58.44 and my answer is 0.1711 molar. And I've got, uh, looks like I've got one sig fig. I'm not going to worry about that too much, but I do have one sig fig here. So that would be um, 1.7 times 10 to the minus 1 molar or moles per liter. Or if I just have one, six, uh, one sig fig, that would be 2 times 10 to the minus 1 molar sodium chloride. All right, so that's one kind of problem. Another kind of molarity problem if, is, is if I say in a uh, 0.46 molar solution of sodium chloride, um, how many grams 
of salt would I need if I wanted to make two liters of solution? Okay. So, good thing I know how to factor label, and I'm going to follow Mrs. Foy's suggestion that instead of writing a capital M, I'm going to write moles per liter here. Okay? So, remember when you do factor labeling problems, you write down what you want. I want to get grams. Okay? I'm trying to find grams of sodium chloride. So, if I want a single unit, then I want to start with a single unit. Well, what single unit do I have in my problem? Right here is a single unit, so I'm going to write down 2.0 liters. Okay, now I'm going to look around in my problem. Do I see another liter? Yes, I do. I see that 0.46 moles per liter, and I want liter on the bottom, so I do not have to flip it. 0.46 moles per liter. This is my molarity. And my liters cancel, and now I'm at moles. Now I'm going to look over here and see I want grams. And I'm like, oh my gosh, if I could just find the molar mass of sodium chloride, then I could solve this problem. Well, we just calculated that in the last problem. The molar mass of sodium chloride is 58.44 grams per mole. So I don't have to flip it. 58.44 grams per mole of sodium chloride. And now I'm done, right? Because look, my moles cancel and I've at grams and I want grams. So I'm just going to say 2 times 0.46 times 58.44, and I don't have to divide it by anything. Um, and so my answer is 53.76 grams of salt is what I would need. And it looks like I have two sig figs here, two sig figs. So this would be 5.376 times 10 to the 1 grams of sodium chloride. And then I would round that to 5.4 times 10 to the 1 grams of sodium chloride. All right. So then there's one other problem that there's one other type of problem that I'm going to do. And this time I'm going to ask for the volume. Okay. So what is the volume? What is the volume in liters of a solution? of sodium chloride. I'm just going to keep doing that because that's easy. If I have a uh, 0 0.08 molar solution and I have, let's say, um, 3.2 grams of sodium chloride in it. Okay? So I'm going to write down what I want. I want the volume in liters. So way over here, I'm going to put liters. I'm going to do what Mrs. Foy said. And instead of having a capital M there, I'm going to remember that that really is a double unit in disguise, right? It's a double unit. Okay? So now I am ready to go. I have the molar mass of sodium chloride, right? I've calculated that. It's 58.44 grams per mole. And now I'm ready to go. If I want a single unit, I'm going to start with a single unit, and my single unit is 3.2 grams of sodium chloride. All right? So now let's look. I've got moles per liter here, and if I could just get the grams to moles, I would be good to go. Well, guess what? This is grams per mole. So I can take 58.44 grams in one mole. Look, my grams cancel. Now I'm in moles. And now I can use my molarity. But do you guys see how I want moles on the bottom? I want moles on the bottom here. So I'm going to flip my molarity. I'm allowed to do that. Just remember the number stays with the mole. So 0 0.08 moles in one liter. I just flipped this molarity here. And look, grams cancel, moles cancel. I'm at liters. That's what I want. Done. 
So now I'll say 3.2 divided by 58.44 divided by 0 0.08. And the answer is 0.68 liters is how much I would need. All right, 0.68 liters. All right, so now let's look at some of the problems on your worksheet. So let's do this one first, okay? Now I'd like you to try to do the um, nomenclature, um, but I do have a little resource for you if you forget how to do this. So cobalt 2 sulfate, so cobalt is plus 2, sulfate is SO4 minus 2, and so cobalt 2 sulfate is this. And I would calculate the molar mass, right? I would add up cobalt, sulfur, and oxygen times 4. And when I do that, the molar mass is 155.00 grams per mole. So the question says, if 4.5 grams of cobalt 2 sulfate are in 250 milliliters of solution, what is the molarity? So I want moles per liter. That's what I want. So if I want a double unit, I start with a double unit. So I have 4.1 grams of cobalt sulfate, and I have 250 milliliters. Well, I need to have, I need to have that in liters, so the first thing I have to do is convert milliliters to liters, and so now I have liters on the bottom. That's good. Now I need to get to moles. Well, I've got the molar mass here, don't I? But I want, I need to have the mass on the bottom and one mole on the top. So now my grams cancel, my milliliters cancel, and I have moles per liter. All right, so that's the setup, and you should be able to do the math on that all by yourself. So now let's try number two, and then I'm going to let you work on this by yourself. This says how many grams of cesium hydroxide were in a 250 milliliter of a 4.0 molar, this means capital M, solution of cesium hydroxide. So cesium is, um, is CS, and it's a plus 1, and hydroxide is minus 1. So cesium hydroxide is just this. And to calculate the molar mass, you would add cesium, hydrogen, and oxygen. And when you do that, the molar mass is 149.91 grams per mole. So the question says, how many grams? I want grams of cesium hydroxide. So I want a single unit. I need to start with the single unit. Here is my single unit right here, 250 milliliters. So remember, this 4.0 molar literally means 4 point moles per liter. So I need to get to liters. So I got to convert milliliters to liters. My milliliters cancel. Now I'm at liters. Now I can use this, right? And I don't have to flip it. Moles over liters. And look, my liters cancel. And now I'm at moles. I need to get to grams. And look, here's my molar mass. And I want moles on the bottom. And this is 149.91 grams of cesium hydroxide per mole. Let's double check to make sure I have canceled on my units. Milliliters, milliliters, liters, liters, moles, moles, grams, done, bam. All right, hope this has been helpful and see you in class.